everyone, I'm here today with a video on five drugstore products that are better than high end. Now, this is not my idea. I actually watched Jessica or Jam Beauty talk about it and I just thought this was such a fun idea and I was like, Jessica, I have to do this video because there's so many drugstore products that I really, really love that I like so much more than the high end and it's not a dupe video. It's basically like if I only had to have this product um, I would pick this over high-end ones that are similar. Um, so I have five products here, and if I have a dupe for it, I will let you guys know. But there's really only one that I'm like, oh yeah, that's kind of dupable. Um, but these are five drugstore products that I think are phenomenal, and I think that you could definitely buy and love far more than you know spending and splurging the money on the high end. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. I hope you enjoyed this video and decide to stay a while by hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Hit that notification bell and make sure you check out Jessica's channel. I will leave her channel down below. She does wonderful videos. She just had a baby girl not too long ago. So she's got beauty videos, mom videos, pregnancy update videos when she was pregnant. So she's great, she's wonderful, I love her, and yeah, thank you Jessica for letting me do this video kind of as a tag, I guess, um, because I thought it was such a great idea. First is, this is gonna be no surprise if you watch my channel uh, or my videos, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This highlighter is just like so beautiful. It's like my go-to. I have to force myself to use other highlighters. I've been using this exact one for months, almost every day, four months. And look at, there's like not even a dent. And it looks just kind of like meh, nothing in the pan. But oh my gosh, like when it goes on your, even swatching, I'm just kind of like meh. But when it goes on your cheekbones, it's stunning. It's beautiful. I don't have it on today, but why not throw some more highlight on? So we can glow forever. But if you've watched my videos, you have seen me wear this highlighter time and time again and use it in so many videos. It's super cheap, it's under $5. They actually did just come out with new shades. They have a golden shade. This one's called Be My Highlight. Then they have a golden one that they just came out with, a greeny one, and then a kind of unicorny pink one. So they do have now four colors in this. I, oh, I just love it. It's so beautiful, it's so understated in the packaging. It's understated when you swatch it, but when you put it on, it's just beautiful. Oh, maybe I'll put some here. I like never do this. This is like so too extra for me, but I'm just gonna go with it. I don't even, we're just gonna light it up. Um, it's just really pretty. Let's put some on our shoulders, why not? Because that's fun, right? Look at this, like you can see it glowing. Oh, it's so pretty. So I think if I like could only ever live with one highlighter for the rest of my life, this could be it. It works when I'm fair. It works when I'm a little bit more tan. The color is beautiful. I love it. I can't put it down. So this would be the first thing that I say, if I had to live with only one, this could be it. Cause it's so good. The next is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Such a good powder. This is amazing. I really, really love this. You guys know I really love my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. Now that one's like, oh, this is hard for me to like say, but this one I think is just as good and it's really, really cheap. And I love this because for a banana powder, it's very light and so it doesn't make my under eyes look yellow. And I use this a few different ways. I use this obviously to set under my eyes. It doesn't dry out my concealer. It doesn't make my concealer crease or look dry or cakey or anything like that. I love for packing it on right along my nose to really help with the sunglass marks. And then I love this for cleaning up. If I've kind of gone a little bit crazy with my bronzer, it does a beautiful job of just cleaning up and sharpening up under your bronzer line. It is so nice. It's so finely milled. Ooh, it's like, it's like butter. And I just really, really, really like this powder. So if I had only one powder I could ever buy again for like setting my under eyes and stuff, I would be totally fine using this for the rest of my life because it works when I'm fair, it works when I'm more tan, and it doesn't give me like a weird white cast under my eyes. It's so incredibly good. The next is these lip liners. You guys, I pretty much wear the same lip color all the time. I just did a huge declutter of all of my collection and I got rid of like so many brights and reds and pinks and stuff. I just don't wear those. I kept a couple fun colors just because, 
you know, every once in a while, maybe I'll want to wear them, but I really just, I feel like bright oranges and reds kind of make me look like Ronald McDonald. I don't know why. Maybe I don't have the lip shape for it. <laughs> I don't know, but reds and oranges just tend to make me feel like I look like a clown. Um, I don't wear bright pinks because I feel like I, it's just, I'm trying too hard. So I always just love this kind of color. It's my color, maybe it's boring, but it's what I feel looks really flattering on me. So it's what I wear. And these two lip liners, like I could live the rest of my life with just these two colors. Like I honestly could. Obviously I have other ones that I love a lot, but I could live with these two colors. This is a brand new one because I've already gone through two. But these are the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte um, Lip Liners and they are so incredibly creamy. They are so nice. Different colors, maybe like 10 shades, something like that. It might be less. It's not a huge range, but I absolutely love the formula. They're long lasting. I could use them just all over my lips um, by themselves. I can use them to line, obviously, this is really difficult. I'm trying to focus on talking and taking this stupid thing off. It's like, come on now, it's just a lip liner. Do we really need to like hardcore package it like this? Ugh. What good is the perforated thing if it doesn't even help rip? Okay. Okay, so this one is Matt's It. It's the one that I use most often. I've already gone through two. It's the perfect, just mauve nude. It's perfect. It's not too pink. It's not too brown. It's not peachy. It's the perfect depth to where you could line the outer part of your lips, feather it in, do a lighter um, lip color on the inside to really kind of make your lips look bigger and poutier. You can put this all over your lips, wear it by itself, put a gloss on. I mean, I just love this color. It's the perfect tone. It's perfect for my skin tone. Uh, I, it's just, oh, I love it. And the other one is mat, matting call, kind of like mating call. This one is a lighter nude, definitely more of that kind of pinky, beigey peach. So I love it because I, I, I just can get both worlds. You know, I get the lighter nude or I can get a deeper, more dramatic color they're just so good. I could live the rest of my life with just these two colors. Honestly, I could. The next lip product, and this one kind of has like a little bit of a dupe, not necessarily the color, but the feel and everything else. You guys know that I love these L'Oreal little things. I love it, I can't stop wearing this, especially this color um, in Shining Peach. There's a ton of colors, so if you don't like this, there is you know brighter pinks, there's reds, there's a berry tone. Uh, I think there's an orangey tone, there's a variety of pinks some nudes, um, Dazzling Doe is beautiful. It's more of that brownie gray color. Um, but this one in Shining Peach is the one that I wear most often. And it has a little bit of a scent. I don't know what the scent is though. But it's just a really nice, light, peachy pink. This makes your lips look so juicy. It's so comfortable. It doesn't dry them out. Um, you guys know I've been really into matte lips for years, but now I'm kind of liking the more juicy look to the lips. And I just love this. I pair this with either of these lip liners and it's just like a dream come true. Now the dupe for it is these new Marc Jacobs enamored lip stick things. Um, this one is in Mocha Choca Latte. The color is not an exact dupe. I think this is actually closer to either Fawn, the Something Fawn or Dazzling Doe from the L'Oreal collection. But you can see it's the same effect. It's kind of more of that sheer, juicy, glossy lip and you know these are pretty expensive these are pretty dang cheap so if you can find a color that you like in these i would just recommend buying this over this even though i love this so much um if i knew that the formula was so similar and it, the product is so close i would just use these so these are amazing i love it it's what i wear on most days they're just so easy to put on and they're gorgeous the last is these brushes, I have done a whole video on them. I use them all the time. They're the Wet n Wild brushes. They're just so good. There was a limited edition collection that came out during Christmas that was a steal of a deal. You got 10 brushes for $30. Then they like repackaged them. I actually think they're the same color. Um, they must not repackage. I thought one was more rose gold and one was more lavender. And maybe they are, I just can't tell. But I did a whole video showing each brush. I love these. These ones are my most favorite brushes, so I thought I'd show you. Um, I use this brush every single day. This is the P65. This one's a great one for highlight, especially more of those baked gelée highlights. It just is so easy to pack that on. This would also be a really wonderful um, setting under your eye brush with like powder. 
I love it. I use it every day. This one, oh, here's the dirty one. See, I do use it every, every day. Um, this one is the P75 brush. This one I also use for highlighting, but I use it for uh, the non-baked gelée ones. So this one's a little stiffer, so it really picks up that baked gelée formula. This one is for more powdery highlights. It just picks up the product perfectly, and boop, 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 it's gorgeous. Uh, this pencil brush I love for inner corner highlight. It's amazing. Uh, this is the P10, so I use this as my inner corner highlight. You could use it to smudge color on your lower lash line. These two are the same. This is the P70. I use one of them for um, bronzer and I use one of them for cream blush. So this one is my bronzer brush. It just works so good at digging it into the product. It picks up the baked gelée kind of bronzers really nicely. And you can kind of turn it like this to kind of carve out for bronzing here, bronzing your forehead. It does a beautiful job blending it out. Doesn't pick up too much product. This one for the cream blushes, which I've been obsessed with cream blushes for the last three weeks. It's what I wear every day. It picks up the perfect amount and it just blends it so nicely into the cheeks. And then this one is their big powder brush. I love this for powder. I love this for softer bronzers to kind of bronze all over the face. They're wonderful. Definitely don't hear enough people talking about them. I love them and I use them every single day. That is it for my five products that are drugstore that I like better than high end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again, Jessica, for creating that video and inspiring me to uh, basically do the same video. What are five products from the drugstore that you love more than high end? I'd love to know down in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.